I call chronic kidney disease a public health ep epidemic. Although it's an individual disease, one in nine Americans is affected by the disease. That's over 26 million people. Most of the people that have the disease have no idea that they have it. You don't just wake up in the morning with chronic kidney disease. It happens over a period of time, sometimes many, many years, before people are symptomatic. If they don't have access to medical care, they don't know they're sick. So one of our major responsibilities is to find the people that are at risk for developing this disease, screen them, and if we find that they have risk factors for chronic kidney disease, we can direct them to care. It's critically important that we screen people, that those people that have risk factors for chronic kidney disease get medical care so that if they do have the disease, we can delay the progression of the disease or prevent the disease from progressing. This is not only good for the patient, but it also saves money. So if we can prevent one person from progressing to stage five, that's a good thing. I know the Kidney Foundation does follow up phone calls. I've been screened myself and I get a call every a few months afterwards just to see how things are going. And actually, I've improved my levels over the last year. They've gone down because I followed some of the recommendations of the National Kidney Foundation. If we screen them and find out that they have problems, we direct them to care. Once we do that, we follow up with them to see that they did indeed get the care that they need. When I found out about the marble, I was really thankful because I, I felt like if I didn't get to see the doctor real soon, that I would probably die. But um, I couldn't afford the bill, so I avoided the hospital. When we saw her, uh, she had no health insurance. We found that she had a significant amount of protein and blood in her urine. I went and I met this really nice lady named Nancy. She said, well, I'm going to make some calls for you. You know I'm not going to let this go. I'm going to make some calls for you and try to get you in. And I said, you know, I'm really surprised people don't usually go out their way like that. We were able to give her a referral for care. She subsequently um, underwent not only one, but several surgeries um, and is now doing very well. I'm feeling great and the relief of a burden off my shoulder that I can go and get seen without worrying about a big bill. You know, that's a big relief that I don't have to worry about being turned away because I don't have any money. They find out a lot in a, in a half hour to 45 minute screening about their health and what they ought to do or what they should be doing to prevent uh, kidney disease. They told me after I took the test, how was my real situation on my health and what are the points or what are the steps to take care of my health. I feel much better, you know, because uh, now I know how is my health. I need to put more attention on my health, and this needs to be for, for the rest of my life. Without the existence of the Kidney Foundation, I just think there would be many other, you know, individuals without being identified for those different conditions until maybe it is too late. There's a big need, there's a lot of people that don't get screened. They haven't seen a single other organization provided those comprehensives offered by the Kidney Foundation that really identify what is most important. People need to continue to donate to the National Kidney Foundation because it's really one of the best things I've seen in Illinois for health screenings. To keep the kidney mobile on the road costs the National Kidney Foundation of Illinois about $400,000 a year. The only way we can get that money is through donation or, by, or from grants. So we want to try to reach as many people as we can possibly reach so that they understand the need uh, for the continuation of this program. And as we said before, there is such a large number of people in this state that are uninsured or underinsured that don't have access to medical care. And this is just one small way that we can help this at-risk community. Even if it's a small amount, five, ten dollars that you can donate, to organizations like the Kidney Foundation, uh, I can assure you it's gonna be money well spent and well used. I know that for a fact. They're an organization that cares about you. This is a very valuable service and it, it has to be continued. I don't think there's another organization in the country that does what we do 
and the way, the way we do it. I hope that the people who see this video can in some way understand how important this program is uh, to the people of Illinois and that we'll be able to continue this program so long after I'm gone there'll be someone else here to do it and uh, we can continue to care for the people that are at most at risk for this disease. I think people should give and keep this organization going because it makes a difference in people's lives. It saves lives. I know because I'm one.